Hello everyone and welcome or welcome back to my design and lettering. My name is Miri and in today's video I will review the Ohuhu mixed media sketchbook and I will paint a Volkswagen T1 bus with several mediums to test the pages. If you want to paint with me make sure you have your preferred paints ready and if you're here for the review sit back relax and have some tea or coffee. Here it is. The Ohuhu Mixed Media Spiral Bound Sketchbook. It has 62 pages in 200 GSM paper. I ordered the sketchbook in July on Amazon for around 12 euro, but hadn't had the chance to use it. And it says it's ideal for wet and dry media like acrylic, watercolor, pens or pencil. Today I will just be testing wet mediums. It comes with a blotting paper thingy made of silicone that you can put under your drawing page to protect the next page, which really comes in handy. I like that. The pages are nice bright white and have just a little bit of texture. The pages are micro perforated so that they are easily removable. Let's get into testing or painting. First, I start with a light sketching in pencil. But since it is not visible on camera, I'll jump to the more visible part. Here you can already recognize the car. The bus is driving on the street with some trees on the sides and mountains in the background. My idea was to use a thin washi tape to separate the painting in four quadrants. In each square I will use a different medium. Watercolor, gouache, alcohol marker and watercolor brush pens. I started with the watercolor square. I used my White Knight's watercolor for that. I painted the trees on one side. As first layer I colored the whole tree area in several green shades. I used Wet on Wet for that. With a darker green I begun painting trees while the page was still wet to get a faded blurish look. While that dried, I began painting the bus. Thank you. 
After that, and after the tree area was dry, I painted some bigger trees in the front and the background. I went in with a darker green and shaded some of the trees to give them more depth. The next square I painted with my Artina Duo markers, which are alcohol based. As it was mentioned on the Amazon site that you can draw with alcohol markers on this paper, I thought I had to test that. First, I had a hard time with them. The pen strokes didn't blend together at all, and normally I get a smooth finish using them. But not this time, I guess. After I colored in the gray thingy on the bumper, I realized that it works better when I go over the area several times. So I went in again with a slightly lighter color for the street and the car. The outcome was smooth exactly as I wanted it to be. But I'm scared to flip over the page. <laughs> Thank you. 
in the next square, I will use my Karen Brush Marker Pro. And I'm really eager to see how the paper can handle them. I don't really like to paint with them, but I love them for lettering compositions and lettering art. First, I tried to fade the color with the blending brush, but that didn't work well. Also, the brush pens damaged the paper. It got fuzzy. Then I thought to blend the color with a paintbrush, but that also didn't work well. So next I tried wet on wet for the street, but that finally was the worst. <laughs> I was so happy when I was done with that square and also haven't done any shading because the pens didn't work as I wanted them to work. So let's move on to the next square. On the last square, I took out my Himi gouache set. And pulled out my color mixing chart. I compared the colors and choose 
which mix I would need. Honestly, guys, this is so handy. If you haven't seen my last video and want to know how I made this, I will link the video in the description box. Like in my January setup, I started with painting the mountains white, then went in with a light gray to add shadows here and there to define some edges. I outlined the mirror, wiper and colored in the seats. I changed the color of the wheel three times. Lastly, ended up with black. At last I painted the trees. I painted the top ones a bit more detailed to avoid getting a clean edge. The trees below that line I painted with just a dabbing motion of my brush and left out some white spots in between. In the front, I painted some bigger trees again. For the grass in the front, I also used a dabbing motion, but this time with a dry brush.
After I removed the washi tape, I realized that I forgot to paint the sky and fix that. I could have left the painting like that, but I wanted the car to stand out a bit more. So I went in with my STA pigment liner in the size 03 and outlined the car. My last step was to draw two lines on the side of the street with my Faber-Castell Pit Artist Pen in white. Let's summarize how the pages handled the paints. All in all, I was satisfied with the sketchbook. It handled the watercolor nicely. Not as good as watercolor paper, of course, but still much better than Brucho pages. The alcohol markers turned really nice after I understood how to work them, but the Karen markers were a flop. They damaged the paper and made it fuzzy. Little bits of the paper went off and that should not happen. Let's turn the page to see how it absorbed the different paints. So, as you can see, the alcohol markers bled through a lot <laughs> and also would have bled on the next page as well if I hadn't used the silicone mat underneath. The other paints didn't bleed or ghosted through the page at all, which is super as you can use the back page as well. I think it's a great sketchbook for the daily use and one you don't have to be scared using it or ruin it with a not so well done painting. And with 62 pages you have a lot of room for sketches and paintings. With that said, this video comes to an end. Tell me in the comments how you liked that video and what you would like to see me review or paint. Thank you for watching and if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Have a great day. Bye bye.